like he's in America where everything is hot. So I can't enjoy it. I'll see you there. Oh yeah, Kimmy! Oh, starting off Bike Week America. Welcome back to Bike Week America. Still shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, broadcasting live from the shadows of the John Hancock Building. And Here's Primo's Tower. Pizzeria. Primo's, and right up the street from where we kick some Dallas ass, Soldier Field. This is Bike Week America. Thank you for tuning back in. That would be the Bears, right? Yeah, that would be the Bears. Yeah. <laughs> and people wonder I, why. And, and that that's picture. why we do this yeah. show. <laughs> you would think it was me, but no, no it's not me. No, no, no. <laughs> Spend a lot of moments like I, this. I, yes. <laughs> that's what drives me for the show. He wait, is to, you wait for these still you shots. Know what? You do. You know what? I gotta show I gotta show you something. I, nice. I, I am thinking Bike Week America mugs. I see this thing. I'm on it, boss. I saw this over the weekend. I couldn't stop myself from liking it, and then all of a sudden, because it has I a had weapon one. on it. Yes. I want this thing. We so you know, we should coming show up the soon. CPD guys coming that. up soon. Bike Week America shop of time. Yeah, no kidding. We can. Do We're gonna that. have some cool stuff. We're gonna have calendars. We're gonna have cups. We're gonna have. There's a whole. We got the whole list. thing started. Uh, yeah. BikeWeekAmerica.com is our main website. Uh, my name is Dan Nolan. They call me Mr. Hippie. I'm the bikers broker. I'm and Lori this... Martin. He calls me just Martin. Everybody else calls me Legs. I tried to get in <laughs> just Martin. You, you did it to me again. Somebody okay. has to stop you. I know. Or slow you down. I know. JM, Just Martin. This oh, wow. We've now gone partner. to JM. Yeah. <laughs> my partner. I'm going to be in. <laughs> so, we got a great show coming up. Um, we actually have a live studio audience. We yeah. have uh, we have a great news segment that oh, Bronwyn yeah. put together. PB oh, yeah. did some really good work on the news She's this kill week you for me because I was though. so b <laughs> too bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bring it, you little shorty. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh great, uh, uh. <laughs> bring it. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand um, dollars. We also have uh, calling in from Hawaii tonight. Um, Chris Simmons. Yeah, Pat Chris Simmons', Simmons. wife. Yes. I don't know uh, if anybody remembers. The Doobie that, Brothers. I. It, it's like the biggest land. I've been that singing Black Water for the past week. I, I've it's been my, doing it's my granddaughter's first favorite song anyway. So I've been doing "Take Me in Your Arms, Rock Me." Nice, <laughs> nice. Black Water's a little but, better for the what, eighteen month old. Hi, yeah. Sammy. Grandma loves you. Okay. All right. Had to. Okay, so welcome to Bike Week America, the uh, fastest 25 minutes you'll ever see on TV. Um, you can catch us streaming live at bikeweekamerica.com. Um, our webpage is starting to become a little bit busier. Yeah. We got Jose and Darwin working real hard on that thing. Jose on a bike, what uh, a great guy. And Does it's a all live call-in work... show. Yeah. That number right there? 738-1060, 312-738-1060. Light that thing up if you have any questions for Chris Simmons, yeah. anything about, you know. And we've got Gabby doing on. double duty tonight. She's working the computer because my husband didn't want to come down. And Bronwyn had oh, to work. I there we go. Know. Throw him on the bus. Yeah, I was just and Gabby's say. doing phones and the computer. <laughs> Hi, folks. <laughs> She's, She's under the rock. <laughs> She's doing great. Double dip and work. Yeah, no kidding. So let's start with the news. We, we could. Do we got any news? What do um, you, let's see. Why don't we do this? We got some. Um, can you give me a picture of this Kathy Kelly? No, no. Give me a picture of Kathy Kelly. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's start with that. There's Kathy Kelly. Coming right up, we got this <laughs> this magnificent lady who goes out with her dogs, and I, I've seen her on a bunch of rides. She actually spent the weekend with me at accident scene management classes. Both that could the be taken many ways. At basic and advanced. <laughs> I went there. <laughs> okay. This is where the train left the track. Somebody marked the time, 7.06, the train just left the track. 7.06.11, and we're on fire again. So uh, we got her coming up. I want to do a couple of minutes and find out Nobody what... said hi to Roxy and Emmy there. There's time for that. Okay. We'll do that. And I also uh, want to uh, start with the news. Let's start with that. We could. So, is this the Chukwala track? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you know what? What do you want Let, to do, Dan? Let's do this first. Okay. Let's do this first. I thought so. I got a news story that uh, that I wanted to do. It's uh, the Chuck Wallet track days, but I think I would rather do something first. I need you to welcome to my studio, Kathy our, Kelly. Our, our studio. Welcome to Kathy Kelly. Yay! Yay! She did good. So, 
you were in basic and advanced, and I know I've seen you around because you know the first thing I do is go for dogs at a ride. But I've met you before. You're calling but, Cassie a dog? No, <laughs> Roxy and Hemi are the dogs that attract me to different people, and this is how I got to meet her. I just went there. Yeah, yeah I you know, sure right? Did, didn't you? So that's two people under the bus in under ten minutes. Way to go! Three minutes. <laughs> what got you in, uh, interested in writing? First off, I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. Right out of the blocks. Yep. So are you a writer or a passenger? Well, I was a writer okay. years ago, and now I'm a passenger. I get to just sit back and enjoy the ride. Take Good. The pictures. Good. Yeah. yeah, Good. exactly. So you went from writing to passenger. How did you get from that? Because I think you have some medical training in your background, right? Yes, I was an EMT years ago, and okay. that's another reason that I wanted to take the course is as a refresher course. Mm -hmm. But I learned a lot. Oh, good. There's a good. lot of things that have changed in the last numerous years and it was very informative cool very informative what did you did you what was the one thing that stuck out of your mind from uh, basic the basic class you know Saturday um, well the instructors were great <laughs> they were oh, they really were they kept I people's know. attention yeah. but no the I, reviews of the uh, CPR and just getting out there and helping people Good. Now, advanced was Sunday. Right. What did you think of that? That was great. I, that was, yeah, it was very informative. Helmet removal, backboarding. Um, we did a thing with the motorcycle. Right. We, we actually had a motorcycle brought into the class, and that was very exciting mm -hmm. to see you guys work with the motorcycle. Right. So, well, in EMT school, we didn't really learn too much about helmet removal. Mm -hmm. So that was something that was mm -hmm. very informative. and. You know, being out in the biking community, it happens. Accidents happen. Yeah, and I'm really glad that and we have some pictures on our website on Bike Week America and on my website. I think your Facebook page has a bunch of them, too. If yes. I'm not, yeah. Yes. Kathy Kelly, you can find her on my wall, whatever. But this is a class that we want to teach people a little bit more about being proactive about stopping for an accident, knowing how to handle an accident, and taking care of the injured while keeping yourself safe all at the same time. Now, that's kind of like a lot of things, right? Well, right, and the more people you can get to help, the better. Um, mm -hmm. The more bystanders, you can you know, direct them as to call 911 and come back. You can you know, have them help you immobilize. You can help them, have them help with backboards, um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so accident scene management. This is a class that's not just necessarily for bikers. It's for bystanders. It's for everybody. This class is basically going to teach you some of the things that you need to know right away on how to take action, how to save a life, how to prevent further injury. It's one of those things that is just organized in a way that you can understand and then be comfortable doing when you actually need to do it. The next time that we're gonna be doing this class is January 4th. Um, you can go to the uh, EMS Road Decks website and I'll put some links up after the show. Uh, we'll make it easy for you to join a class. But these classes are held nationwide. But the next one here in Chicago is January 4th. We have it over at Cabela's in Hoffman Estates. Um, one of the nicest places to have a class. Lots of actually, room. It was. it was, you know, easy to get to off of the it was tollway. Very nice. But yeah. So what would you if you had thirty seconds to tell anybody anything, including your mother, what would you say? This is your floor. Go ahead. You have um, you can never have enough people that are medically trained. Um, and it works for anything, not just motorcycle accidents, but for motor vehicle, um, say you're in the mall and somebody falls down and has a heart attack, uh, you'll know what to do. You'll know how to control the scene and hopefully save a life. Anything special to say to your mom? Anything today? special? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would love to say happy birthday to my mom, Marjorie Kelly. And um, when was her birthday? What? It is today. And That's she's right. 73 today. And my mom's birthday was yesterday. So happy birthday, moms. I want to thank you for coming in and sharing your experience with how cool this actual class is. Yeah, it is. And like it, I said, everybody When I heard your passion, it. I couldn't stop myself from inviting you in. Yeah, I, I, everybody should do it. Like I, I said, you can't have enough first responders. Cool. Very cool. I uh, really appreciate you coming in and taking a, a chance to give us a minute of your day. 
no Thank problem. you. She had to deal with us in the car the whole ride down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I believe she called us insane somewhere around Addison Road. I, you know, she did say insane. Yeah, I know. She says, you guys are insane. <laughs> <laughs> not us. No, not at all. So, let's do the moon. Yeah, let, the moose? The news. Uh, Chuck Walla, you guys, I found your Facebook page. My news producer brought me the story. I started looking at this thing, and I said, you know what? I got to give you guys a shout out for what you're doing. Uh, the Raceway out in Desert Center, California, is hosting their annual Women's Motorcycle Track Day. That's Femme Once Walla, again. yeah. Yeah, uh, and that's this Friday, the 13th. Uh, the proceeds are going directly to their charity. Wow. And th these are women racers oh, yeah. who just do the track, a racetrack. I, I think that left, is just great. Left, left, <laughs> left, left, left. It's left. like their third or fourth annual. But the but thing is, is that for each lap they do, um, they raise money for each lap. It's the same it, as if we do miles and, or, you know. And there's a bunch like of that. charities that they're supporting. Right. Um, more on Bike Week America. Yeah, if you go the to their Facebook website, page, to our website or their yeah, website, you can up. see it. Yeah, I got it hooked up so you can see some links after cool. the show. Um, you want to do the next one? I can do the next I, one. I think the next one kind of rocks because I remember these guys from when I was a kid. Oh, this is those cops. Yeah. These yeah. Are... <laughs> it's over, you guys. 59 years, police are no longer allowed to stand on their heads. Yep. In Mates, Germany, budget cuts happen everywhere, and the famous Berlin, Germany motorcycle display team is no exception. 60 years of performing these spectacular stunts, and it's over. Um, budget cuts yeah. have brought it, brought it to an end. Yeah, there's they, no more money. There's like eight guys on that motorcycle. There's more than eight. <laughs> we have a problem with two. I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if, I, if I hear Steve tell me one more time, these stop squirreling around back there. I'm like, you want I, the pictures, but you don't want me to move. I don't know what you want. It used to be good PR, and now they're getting like nothing out of it. it they're spending $200,000 a year to do these stunts, and they, they had, it was nice. I, I, the thing in the back, I think what bothers me is is that this is a tradition Sad. that's going to be gone it's yeah. one more thing the next generation isn't going to see except for and it won't make the history books because it was motorcycles did i show and you what i got <laughs> wait a minute it came to my address <laughs> <laughs> i got a beaner calendar. beaner left today we want to wish yeah. him very safe travels for his next few wait months in asia and uh we're very very avid supporters of kevin beaner at bike week america and Kevin Beaner sent us a couple of calendars, so Time we get to look quickies, at Beaner right? every month. So it'll okay. be good. It'll be good. Cool. He signed well, them for us too, ish. He he's, he's a great guy. <laughs> he spelled his name good wrong. Beaner, you spelled your name wrong. <laughs> so, so let's. Uh, I know that there's some people watching us tonight. Um, we got Gnarly Jays in Downers Grove. Hey, you guys, Nick, Jen. See you soon. Well, uh, let's see. Joe's and Joliet. They hook us up. They show us to they all the customers. This is like, Joseph and Julia, Rodney, way to go. Thank you, guys. I was going to say, hey, Rodney. Lama headquarters. Free hot wings. We've hey, asked. We've yeah. begged. We've <laughs> got there. They're now we've, free, right? <laughs> we've, we've got <laughs> little G free. in the studio. Not We're not giving not her free. back. Eric, yeah. she's not yours until <laughs> we can have hot wings. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you guys can hold the beer. We're not big beer fans here. <laughs> I know it's scary. Tequila, Ben. Tequila. Ma but, Mark's, the, but the wings would work. Mark's on 2nd Street. Mark's Thank you, Mark. Street Mark, you're doing great. Thanks a lot, Mark. And True Customs out in Littleton, Colorado, they're, they're hooked. They're See, hooked on us. I'm going to have they you can, say your name because every time I Florida. say it wrong. Oh, my God. Yeah, we got Tina, so, Tina so Marie. Unbelievable. We love you. We've got a lot of you people know what? watching. Yeah, I was looking at the Facebook page, and I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm looking at you. There's a up. JT from Louisiana who found us. It's Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh, One of these Mich days. <laughs> Michelle from Thunder Roads from Atlanta, oh, Florida. Oh, that's right. You know, we were talking about that in the car, and here we didn't Thunder forget Roads. it. Um, Ron Cass. Ron Castellano. His license plate is FTWCOS. I met him at Toys for Tots. He found our page. Nice. FTW, COS. Uh, also the, Should I not say that anymore? No, not here. Okay. Um, Jack Blair from Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> nice. I, do you believe this? I, shout out to Australia. Joe Quartermain and Donna Kirkby. They're from Jojo? Western Perth. Western. Jojo? They're watching this morning with Jojo, their cup of coffee. Jojo, I owe you one. I owe you one. They're having their smoke and their cup of coffee it, watching us. I, I checked I don't in know. with Johnny Lang this week and Tina How's Fairclough. He doing? Johnny's good. Is he? John, stripper, I, you know, stripper pole chopper show. Stri or strip, stripper club choppers. Strip club choppers. Yeah. Com, and uh, Tina Fairclaw over no in the uh, UK. So I Look think that's why you. I wanted that Berlin story. Something in the U, you know, something close to I'm glad to they Europe. were Bike Week like, America. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Worldwide. We need to, yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, worldwide, this, Bike this Week America. Big, so tell a friend, tell everybody. It's on like your that. Facebook. I don't know. That I'm going to show my age here with that Fabergé commercial. And you tell one friend, and they tell one yeah, friend, yeah, and, and so and on, and, and so, so on. on. Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> yeah, now we're both you. old. This is um, something I wanted to show uh, everybody too. Thunder Roads Magazine had a lead story about us. It's about Bike Week America. Yeah, I know. I, I got to tell you, I I, I I saw this and I did the interview. I know and you did. I, I kind of like I think I screwed up everything. You and you read the article. You got to read the article. This guy has magic in words. Just he just so cleaned, he unscrewed it. He cleaned me up really nice. <laughs> I don't know. Put how a tie I, on you. I, I, if I remember, there, <laughs> ignore the picture. Yeah, don't it look at that. It was a one shot deal. That, that tie was from the seventies. He had to wear it, but and it, it's yeah. now going to go down in infamy. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, the second episode, I think that was. Yeah, Whatever, well, right. one or two. Hey, I cleaned up nicely. Okay, that's all I got. He also cut off all of his hair since then. You, you Twelve inches of your hair went to lock yeah. up, didn't it? Yeah, got got rid of it. Yeah. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I, I did. I, I really wanted to. Over do the it. past sixteen months, I've given, I think it was thirteen inches total. So. Oh, if you want to know how long it takes to make twelve inches, it's three years to the month. That's how. That's how long it took. Mine me, is so. about a year and a half, but it's been always this long. So. Okay. 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 That's fine. Yeah, you know that would twelve. That would put you on the shoulder, right? If I cut off another 12, no, it's not getting any shorter than this, but I was sitting yeah, on was it. I was sitting on it last okay. year, so. Cool. Now that we've had that inconsequential. Okay. All, right. All right. Squirrel. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's Shockingly. Go to, let's go to Hawaii. Let's. Let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> let's. Let's I go to the big it, island, it, man. You know, one of the coolest things that I've come across Excuse in me. my short television career is finding awesome people. I got the most awesome person on the phone today. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, I, can I maybe. do a drum roll? Can I do a drum roll? We could. All right. We're gonna. I'm just gonna introduce her. Hey. Okay. Let's do it. Chris Simmons, how are you, honey? It's three o'clock in Hawaii, isn't it? Aloha. Aloha. Hi. How you doing? doing? Mahalo for calling in. Hey. Very good. You knew that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. We did. We did show prep while you weren't looking. Well, and oh. my mom, mom and dad spent a month there, and every time I called, I got that. So. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I hate to tell you, but it's 82 degrees here today. Oh, oh I just, wow. uh, I just <laughs> trudged with my cane through <laughs> snow and ice a block and a half so to get to the studio. Hang that phone up and make it look accidental. So, no, 82. 82. Well, you know. You're sitting on the lanai or something, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm actually looking outside right now. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Why, why, why did we have her call in again? <laughs> because but I she have is... to tell you, I am from Chicago, so I feel your yeah, pain. She's... Oh, well, send us some of this. You know what? Then we're coming to your house, Chris. I, you know, I think we need to do a live remote. I, I, you yeah. know what? I think, we need to go, I think we need to go on location. Yes, yeah. We do that every once in a while, only, you know, like to Hawaii and people that we know. So yeah. Just, there you just go. Just sending it out there. Um, I, your history is fantastic. I, yeah. as, and even before I got your bio, I noticed how much you actually do. Um, Sturgis Hall of Fame. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. But one thing that, it, that I really want to hear about is the cannonball. Can you tell me about the run that you did? Well, I, I was on the first cannonball, which was 2010. Right. I was the only American woman. I did not even know that till I got there. <laughs> and it was bunch, mostly wow. men, 45 riders. First uh, girl. But, that okay. rocks. There was one other lady rider from Germany, but she was riding a smaller bike, so we didn't really ride in the same class. Mm -hmm. But... Um, it was from Kitty Hawk, North Carolina to Santa Monica in 16 days. It was all pre-1916 motorcycles. Wow. I, I think that's just from coast to coast and pre-1915 What were you bikes. riding, Chris? I was riding a 1915 Harley-Davidson three-speed, the first year of the three-speed transmission. Nice. Oh, man. And now, that you, you've named that bike, if I remember. I named the bike Effie. Effie, Effie, Effie yes. Hotchkiss, who was the first woman to ride across the United States in 1915. And that, she was, was that not, you know, anything to do with me, but she rode the same make and model, so I named my bike after Effie. Is that cool? That's cool. That's actually, that's what I named my oh. expedition was the same thing. Cool. That's cool. But like Effie, mine. Yeah, so Effie know, brought right? her mom in the sidecar, and I didn't bring mine. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Now, you got a couple of books out, too, don't you? Yes, I actually wrote a book. Um, well, I wrote my first book called Patrick Wants to Ride, I think, in 1994, and my youngest son was only four. 
a kid's book about riding motorcycles. And then um, 19, let's see, 2009, I actually wrote a book called The American Motorcycle Girls, 1900 to 1950, which right. is a coffee table photographic history of women in motorcycling all the way up to 1950. I want to make sure I get that book, Patrick Wants to Ride My Granddaughter. Yeah. Uh, She's yeah. 18 months old, and I and she likes she likes sitting on Pa's on Pa's bike. So I think that that's yeah, going to be a good one for her. They're still selling really well. Harley Davidson sells a lot of them in the museums. Excellent. There will uh, be links on our page so that you can get hooked up on getting some of this information directly to you. Hopefully by the holidays. Makes well, there it, you makes go. It and then I wrote my tell. third book on the Cannonball called the Cannonball Diary. I kept a diary yep. of my my ride. And uh, you have an online version of that as well right. that you've been adding to. Are you, I blog, are you blog, blogging I something like that? So, you know, I'm, I'm actually signed up to do the Cannonball next year. I actually signed my husband up as well without telling him. <laughs> and I figure, well, you know, if you don't we do that a lot. Yeah, yeah women we do, do that things that they don't tell their husbands. My husband yeah, doesn't know how to sign his name anymore. Right. <laughs> so the next Cannonball in uh, next September is 1936 and earlier motorcycle. So there's a little more okay. modern motorcycle, but the route is longer. It's Daytona Beach to Tacoma. Oh, okay. 41, that is 4, miles. We'll have links up on it's, if you want to follow those rides. Also, we'll have links up on our on our website. Yeah, for that we're going to well. take good care of. You. So, how did you meet Vicky and uh, Pan San Filippo of Excellence no, in I, Management? I was trying to think because I know I've known Vicky for longer than ten years. I mean, I really remember me actually talking with her in um, 2002 at the AMA Women in Motorcycle Conference mm. in West Virginia. I went and sat in on her one of her classes, and I was just amazed at and what she does, and um, she's just a wonderful person and giving so much back to the motorcycle community. Um, in fact, I just I am also the American uh, Iron Women's, American Iron Magazine Women's Editor, and I just did my column on Vicki. It won't be out for a few months, but I just got done submitting well, that the other day because I'm so impressed by her and all the things that she does to help other people. Oh, yeah, I am too. Vicki's one of my quote-unquote heroes. She really is. She's brought something to the table that was needed and organizing a, a yeah. crime scene, and a, a crime I, scene. I call it a crime scene. Right. It's actually a crash scene, according to the curriculum. Right. I mean, I've taken it all the way to instructor level just because it's just such a good idea. And when I saw you and Pat were in the PSA, I couldn't stop myself from asking, you know, uh -huh. can I get a minute of your time to just share, you know, your thoughts about our wonderful acting experience? I think we didn't really act well, but the message got across, and um, we are passionate about. <laughs> You know, trying to help other motorcyclists learn to help themselves and help other people that they ride with. And, right. you know, it, it is a dangerous sport, and it's not getting any easier because of the amount of traffic. And right. People and, you know, well, so Kathy the more had we brought know, up, the more, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm former EMS also. We didn't learn this stuff in, in being a paramedic in paramedic school. We didn't right. learn any of this. Right. So They're wrapping us up here, it looks like. <laughs> uh, I'm getting the light, honey. Yeah, we're getting the now, light, Chris. Now, if I was going to just say you get 30 seconds to say anything you want, go ahead and have the floor. What would you like to just tell everybody? And before we go, thank you so much for calling yeah. in from Hawaii because we're probably going to lose you then. Well, well, <laughs> we're taking it all the way yeah, down. Yeah, we're taking you all the way down to last. <laughs> my family with my youngest son who was diagnosed with testicular cancer a few months ago, and he's 20 three years old now, but I want to let people know, please check yourselves and go to the doctor, and, and um, you know, that's that's a message he went he went public on Facebook with it, but he's doing well, and he's doing chemotherapy, and I just want everybody to thank everybody for their thoughts and prayers for our family right now, but, um, you know, that's Pat's thing, check yourself, so. You're, ca you're, you you're covered in prayer, you're on our prayer chain, you know, Check yourselves while you're riding your motorcycle. You <laughs> <laughs> Two birds yeah, with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was Chris Summer Simmons who took her time out from Hawaii. Thank you, Chris, for everything that you've been doing yes, for accident scene you. management. I, I'm I just, can't wait to meet you in person, Chris. I really yeah, I can't. Know. I'm already booking well, the flight happy mentally. Happy holidays, everybody. You Thank also. you. Thanks. Take good care. God bless. Bye, Pat. You too. Bye, Bye, Pat. Pat. Thank you for joining Bike Week America. That was uh, probably... That was cool. That it's was cool. 80 degrees and, in Hawaii. And, did, and the over under on I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy was one, and I never even That's did right. it. That's right. So That's right. Thank you for tuning in. We'll next see you week next is our season. Next week is our season finale. We're going to the dogs. We'll talk to you later.